Here we're going to tie the baby boy hopper. We're going to tie the black version or the cricket version of this fly. First thing we're going to do is just start some thin foam here on the shank of the hook. Just a nice thin strip. I'm going to take it all the way back to the bend. This will just act as a binder for our body. I'm just going to let my thread hang right back there at the bend of the hook. Make sure my thread is on the far side of the point of the hook. I'm going to pierce a piece of foam right down the middle of the foam here. Slide it onto the back of the hook. Let it hang from the underside. Make sure my thread's all the way back at the back of the shank here. And I'm going to let the thread just hang on the far side. And I'm going to take my scissors. And I'm going to get right in front of the eye here. Right in the middle of the foam. I'm just going to pierce a little hole. Slide the eye of the hook through that little opening. Now we're ready to apply a little bit of zap a gap. Be careful how much you add. We definitely do not want to overdo it. Glue your fingers together if you're not careful. We're just going to apply super glue right down the shank of the hook, right down the middle of the tail. Then we'll get underneath the shank just a little bit, making sure that we don't hit the edges of the foam too much. If we do, we'll glue our fingers together if we're not careful. Then I'm just going to take this foam, I'm going to fold it straight back and I'm going to line it all up and I'm going to pinch it together as tight as I can. I'm going to hold the tail in an upward angle. I'm going to hold it here for several seconds. Then I'll just kind of pinch some areas that I may have missed once more. There we go. Now that we have it all glued, I'm just going to take my thread right here at the back and I'm going to do a nice loose wrap. I'm going to pull down tightly and I'll do one more. And I'm going to take this thread and I'm just going to cross it forward one turn and I'll wrap straight across again. And I'll do the same thing once more. Turn forward. Then a turn straight across. I should have a body that looks like so. You can see those forward turns, those little crosses that go forward right here. We have two of those, just one that goes forward, then a perpendicular wrap, then one that goes forward, and then a perpendicular wrap. Then the next thing to do is to trim the tail. We're just going to take a razor blade. I'm going to hold the foam kind of at that upward angle. We're just going to cut straight through it going back. Just like that. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to trim kind of a little butt, a little taper to it. Pointing backwards. Just like that. Now the next thing to do is to tie in the legs. For the legs I'm just going to use some black round rubber leg material. I'm just going to capture it. Then I'm going to take a wrap back, kind of making an X now. You can see I've made an X right there, right there on the top, in the first segment. I'm going to take it back to the second segment. Then I'm going to lay a perpendicular wrap, just one that's straight across. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side here. There we go. Once I've got it secured, I'm going to take a forward wrap following that X pattern. Then I'm going to capture the front leg perpendicular wrap. Once you've done all that, 
you should have your legs tied in. Now we're ready for our wing. For our wing, we're just going to use some elk hair. I'm going to use bleached elk. I like the bleached color because I can see it easily out there on the water. I'm going to put it in a hair stacker. Make sure the tips are nice and even. Oh, I didn't quite get it. I'll try this again here. Get out my other hair stacker. Now that we have their tips nice and even, we want them to be about the length of the body, so I just kind of measure it out. Then I'm going to cut just a little bit longer than the than what I measured. I'm just going to lay it right on the head of the fly. I'm going to take a nice loose wrap with my thread, and I'll tighten. And that should build up a nice little head, and a nice little wing. Then we can whip finish. Adjust your legs if they got a little out of whack. And you can trim your legs. I like my back legs to be about the length of the body. I like the front legs to be a little bit shorter, just a little longer than the eye. That is a little baby boy hopper. This is the cricket version since it's in black. You'll want to make sure to apply some head cement to the thread wraps just to finish it off. And you can find all the materials and recipe information for this fly at intheriffle.com.